Now on Monday night, Finnegan runs in from his corner spot, put a pop on Chris Brown, then people start talking about people's mamas, and it was on early. They didn't waste any time getting right after, did they? Picked up right where they left off the last time. I like the referees allowing them to do a little of this stuff. And it is a first down, however. It'll be first and goal inside the five, and some of the players have to be separated. And a flag is down. Back at the 19. Fitzgerald and Deion Grant. And Beanie Wells. Deion Grant trying to get at Beanie Wells, and Wells with the second shot back. After the play was over, first and five. And third and six. Hasselbeck hit as he throws. And some jawing going on down there. Nick Barnett with one of the offensive linemen. I don't know if it started with Hasselbeck and one of his teammates came in his defense. It looked like Barnett had Hasselbeck down around the knee. Well, they got him at the waist. Now they're kind of tied up here, but right here at the bottom. That just little oh. kick by Hasselbeck right there. And Locklear, both of them. Yeah, both both started in on it. Uh, I'm surprised with some of the. Now let's keep an eye on Cortland Finnegan. He's tussling a little bit with Mike Wallace. Now let him go. Okay, he knocked, he knocked your helmet off. One too many. And he caught the last guy swing. Career high. First and ten, Maroney. Bandit. Into the avalanche of defenders for the Tennessee Titans. And no gain on the play. It'll stay at the 49-yard line. The run game continues to be, and we just saw the stats moments ago. Cooper's upset there as he lost his hat. <laughs> but the Cooper's in. I didn't take my own helmet off. That's for sure. Look at, look look at the smile grin. on Jason I Babbitt's that, face. That tells you all you need to know. He huh? understands it. More than chippy are the Tennessee Titans. And well, you, they always get the they always get the guy that retaliates, and you see Goldson there. And you know, they're young and inexperienced at safety with Goldson as a second year starter. And By Devin Hester. Well, they were going to let it go. Up to this point, they were going to let it go. Even there, that shot right there, that last one is when the flag came out. Up until then, they were kind of letting them go at it a little bit more than what they typically fly By a 15-yard penalty on third and long. Well, there's Joe Hayden. Well, that's not Joe Hayden. Look at Marshall with that late hit. Mike Adams on Mike Adams. He does a I mean, that's just a cheap shot. The ball's already been tackled. Leach. Just short of the goal line. Boy, talk about breaking tendencies. And here goes the flag. And another one. Andre Girard is without a helmet. Oh, here he's coming out of his break. Oh, he's driven out. Oh. It was, looked like he was pushed over by Marlin. Flag on the play. The officials talking it over. Oh, there's some talking going back and forth between D'Angelo Hall and Brandon Marshall. And Bears fans will remember not fondly a couple of years ago, D'Angelo Hall tied an NFL record with four interceptions on Jay Cutler and the Bears. And there was some heated words between Jay Cutler and D'Angelo Hall in those days because Jay well, he's going fisticuffs with D'Angelo <laughs> Hall. D'Angelo Hall got the oh. the first shot in and hey I that's not counting Cam Newton. This time Cam keeps it and he goes down. Justin Tuck second time that Tuck has held his ground and brought down Cam Newton and now we got a scuffle going on on the far side. Oh yeah. Steve Smith. And Matthias Kiwanuka. Littlest guy on the field mixing it up with one of the bigger guys. Yeah, that's what usually happens in the bars, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and they've been going at it all night. Okay. Well, there it's the corner, but Kiwanuka came over later. And yeah, but these are the two that have been going at it all night. And I don't know what you do here because they're both getting at it now. Here come the fellas. Kiwanuka comes over. Yardage with Tyler Rose, and they may have had uh, some penetration by Antonio Johnson before the snap. Now everybody's pushing and shoving, and 
This is one of the things that people are concerned about with the replacement officials, that there's a lot more kind of extracurricular activity, seeing what they can get away with on the field with these referees, these officials, rather. Able to get this away. 21-yard try. And penalty flags before the snap. And they're going to throw a flag as a fight breaks out. Not a big one. The officials get right in the middle of it. But there are two separate fouls. The first and 10 becomes first and 15. And Morris, boy, is he a powerful back. Two giants rolling over each shoulder, and now a flag comes in as there's pushing and shoving. Again, they don't get any pressure on him, and he fires down the sideline. Incomplete. Vincent Jackson makes a diving attempt over there. And now we got a fight going on in the backfield. Jared Allen's in the middle of that with Donald Penn. Yeah, I don't think Jared Allen liked the way he got blocked that time by Donald Penn. And he's look, got look at the his bridge nose. of his nose is bleeding as well. Working on the left tackle, Donald Penn. Now Penn's holding him a little bit there, pushes him down, stays on him, and now he jumps on him. That, that's the part right there that Allen objected to. Okay, you pushed me down, but you don't have to jump on me. And from there, you can Not call that play. both ways. There are two fouls. G. Bush. It is Bush. Finds a hole, Bush to the second level. And it's forced out of bounds as he got it into Jets territory. And some words exchanged at the end of that play, and a flag comes down. Cromarty passed by Rivers. We had some pushing and shoving after the play. Right the there. Side, yeah. yeah. Wesley Woodyard taking a shot, and they caught him. It's close. It will depend on the spots and extracurricular activity. Eric Weems shoved to the ground. And a penalty marker has been thrown. That's This may be a big mistake by the Minnesota Vikings here because by the spot, this is going to be foul. a tough call. Roughness, number 24 defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. And 10 for the Panthers. Newton stands in and throws to Steve Smith. And with that catch, and we got a little something going after the whistle out of bounds. This is the one player you do not want to get excited. Leave Steve Smith alone. You said it's his homecoming. 50 folks are here in the stands. This is the emotional. This is the crazy leader of this Carolina team. This holds nothing nearly as severe for him to deal with this offseason. This is Isaac Redman on second and 10. Bursting through the Cleveland defense across the 15-yard line, and again, players have to be separated. This is an AFC North rivalry. It goes back a long time. 11-yard run for Redmond. As the officials trying to sort through it all, no penalty markers are on the field. The penalties last week were a big story. Watch Phil Taylor right here. Jaw him with Ray Rice, and then he pushes him. You, you can't do that right in front of the officials. You've got to exercise some patience. Get a penalty there, marker. And Rex Ryan very upset over the far side came running out of the field another flag is tossed You see the football come flying the ball came out and Sheldon Richardson with 21 yard penalty First down and don't throw his way over the head oh, Britt. Here comes a flag and they're still going at it and that one's going on Britt Britt has had some problems off the field in his career, former number one pick. I mean, that's just losing your cool right there. Eric Reed did have his leg on him as he's coming down to the ground. Certainly not intentional, and Britt just doesn't like it. Well, the Titans said they weren't actively shopping with the trade deadline coming, Britt, but his future here. Goldson on the stop. The helmet comes off, and a little disagreement. A flag is thrown as Goldson continued to go at it with Matthews. Third time in a row they've gone head to head after a catch. The first down and 10 yards after the 15 yard penalty. There's Jeremy Trueblood, the Falcons' right tackle, and there's a pretty good left cross. And that's the retaliation. Hicks pushed him. He retaliated. He got caught. 
I'd rather just see that one kind of Andre Hopkins involved. Yeah now balls going to take a shot at him right there and there's the retaliation. Now well, he's got the second one. Flag with some shoving after the play. Well they didn't like the hit that Matt Ryan took. Watch Matt Ryan at the end here. You're going to see Carlos Dunlop. He comes in here and he just clips him right on the side of the leg. And watch Holmes respond. That's that's. I think that's good to see. Remember, they were criticized last year for not doing a good enough job defending their quarterback by their owner. Yes. Defensively in the first half yes. against this Bengals defense. It's second and ten for Ryan. He throws across the middle where it's incomplete, and there's a shove and a Roddy White, Reggie Nelson conversation. <laughs> it's it gets crazy, away. isn't it? Yep. There's just some frustration there. Well, here's, here's an Atlanta team that has lost now, after today, seven consecutive outdoor games. Well, they can't do that. Little Floyd Mayweather. I mean, he's been right in the middle of this whole thing, and now there's a fight at the 20-yard line. It looks like Devin Hester is in the bottom of that thing, along with Colin Jones. I mean, this is a free-for-all. out of control. Okay, here's the ice I'm going back. Start here. There's Douglas and Josh Norman. A few feet away from them, then you see Hester diving in, then he gets tangled up with Colin Jones. I mean, there's kicking going on, there's smacking and swings. They got walking down. And he dropped the ball timeout. Was it granted? Saw Eli turn with the play clock at one. Single timeout. Now, for more extracurricular activity as Preston Brown attempts to get it. Odell Beckham Jr. And flags are thrown. Took a low hit on the last drive. Let's see how he responds now. Off the turnover. They'll start on the ground with Andrews. A flag is down. And Andrews is tossed out of bounds. And a little yeah, extracurricular can... over there now on the Miami sideline. Yeah, you can you can bet Taylor Luan is in the middle of it. Byron Bell is the offensive lineman for Tennessee, and yes, Luan is there as well. Luan once told us that drops down from that safety spot and is very physical. Here's Hall coming up again. A little tackle, a little bit late on that one. And now a flag is thrown. That was Deshaun Golson, very yeah. late. Turbo again. Get hard. Compton got to him, and then a couple of other Redskins encouraging to see, knocking his helmet off. The whistle had blown. All right, already. Turbo to Compton. There's a flag down. At the 10. Craig Robertson, a linebacker by trade, looking every bit like a running back. And Robertson is just reading the... Meanwhile, Roethlisberger getting into it. Back at the goal line. He coached under John Robinson with the Rams and Jeff Fisher as these two teams start to shove after the play. Jeff Fisher's going to get a win here today. And Michael Bennett was in there for Seattle. Fourth and goal. Brady on a game. Blunt going airborne. He's in. Touchdown, New England. LeGarrette Blunt gets the score, and now flags come flying. Blunt is locked up. And now pushed aside. Pat Sims was in there and lost his helmet for Cincinnati. Sure, he can get it for him. Yeah, they can pressure the outside, 
Now, if he becomes a force inside, you can't double team Khalil Mack and Bruce Irvin and all these formations. And it just makes them more dynamic and dangerous. As they try to dig it out. Remember now, this takeaway group of Jacksonville's defense, they've got 25 takeaways, number two in the NFL. Ooh, and some bad words with a flag thrown. Get a little chippy down yes, there. Yes, they are. When you play in the division, I guess that's happening uh, all the time with these teams. We got a fight now out there. He was about to, and there's a penalty thrown. This ball's going to be backed up on the false start, six, five yards to the six yard line. It could be added on, depending on who this penalty's against. And here's the pushing and shoving afterwards. We thought it was a fun, we picked it up, and there's the personal foul right in the face of Eli Apple. Unprovoked. Touchdown passes. It's Rubble. Tries to get it away, and it's going to be ruled. Well, they're playing like it's a fumble, as that is Donald running with it. The officials have thrown a flag as there's a scuffle on the sideline. Sean McVay in the middle of it, trying to break it apart. Well, there's two things here. One, it's going to be a pass, but it's going to be an intentional grounding if they really look at it closely. So it's not going to be a fumble. Get you caught up around the league on the Verizon halftime report. Wilson just able to get it out, and it's incomplete. Scored it through the hands of Carson, and now he and Kirkpatrick. Boy, if this is on Kirkpatrick, that is a massive mistake. I think they're going to get 27 on this. I don't know what was said, but he's certainly the guy that Push Carson. And Carson got a little shove, but third down and ten. Wentz too high, incomplete. It's fourth down. And a lot of contact downfield, no flag as Jair Alexander and Zach Ertz get into it. Again, there was pressure on Wentz and almost kills the ball there. He had another guy in the middle of the field. So Mike Pettin is able to force a third down. He brings an extra. Third and six and Goff. Time. Arm hit and in the air. And it's intercepted. The Bucks with a takeaway. Jordan Whitehead. Back to the 35 of Tampa Bay. Goff had a man open. But took a while to get it to him, and a flag is down as that play came to an end.